Well, we are waiting for them to start the meeting. I hope everything is working properly. Here we go, folks. Okay, so this happens to be, we're recording. And uh, we are recording. Today is January 26th, and we're waiting for the meeting to begin. It is 8.55, and you'll notice that everybody, is these are the three commissioners he took off he went to ipad there you go so here we are isn't this fun folks
Well, you see the time is 8.58. Look at how he looks. You ready? You on? Yeah, I speak into the microphone. There's no one else on the deck. I'd like to make a so we stand up and have a moment of silence for Mike and two other people after this weekend, uh, just for a minute or something. Maybe the whole courthouse would join in. Okay, that's about all I can take. <laughs> okay, we're ready for the pledge. Sorry, Sue. So oh, I just said we just did. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. <laughs> Okay, I guess we get started. Uh, I had uh, uh, I talked to Paul Alt this morning and well yesterday, and he got surgery on both feet, so he's not coming in. He'll be laid up for a little while. And I checked on the crew yesterday. I had him go down, and was he, I talked to him. He didn't care. They went down in that sewer pipe coming out of the health center down there. Somebody backed into it, broke, and then they dropped beer bottles down it. So all the smell is going back in there. So <clears throat> we cut it off yesterday, about four feet, and then they're they're going to glue it and everything this morning, and then they're going to put in two of them uh, cement barriers that we've got, you know, from the mm -hmm. state. One kind of south of the door, and the other one will be north of the door. But you can still come out that side door if you had to. But the other stuff is sunk in the ground, and the people are just, you know, when they pull in there, that ice to build up, they're just going over and they hit that. So I was going to call you yesterday, and then I, I just figured that big a deal. They weren't through much. They just got back. He went up to clean the road off and off for it. King did, and then guys, the other guys ran all the other roads, and everything was, was pretty slow. You know, with a few ice blocks and some rocks. About it. He didn't have much to say. He said if we needed anything, we could call him. He said at home. So. Where's this at? Ball? No, what you're talking about. Health center. The health center? Yeah, by Amber Ted. Or, yeah. Hmm. Sorry, I'm going to say you got it fixed, though. Or they they'll have it fixed this morning after they run their routes. We went down oh, and we okay. cut everything off and measured. I was there with them. And they'll get the pipe from Hogan's and get it 
it'll be fixed today. Right. Does it need like a screen over it then? No, it just, no, because then it'll, once they put it back together, then they can't drop shit down. Oh, okay. This way it'll be one solid pipe. And because it start, uh, Friday, Jackie said it was stinking, but then yesterday when they got ready to do the COVID stuff, it was really so. I, we cleaned it out and. So I dumped some water down there. I was gonna have to dump some bleach, and I forgot to tell them. But it seems like it's hmm. it'll start bleach and it'll go up. And yeah. it'll go back into the building to this plug. Okay. Uh, that's about all I had on that. <clears throat> I didn't know this. I was reading there where that I think it was the Elena's wanting this record. Requiring a weekly written report. She can read it off the minutes. I'm sorry. We don't need him to be sitting writing reports because they changed from second to second, you know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we need him. I, I, you know, know, I mean, we stayed away. We're doing it with him. And I just, it's just. You know, most of the time he's so busy anyway. Can't be sitting around writing up the report just for one person. No. You know, she wants to do it. She can get it off the minutes. And it's just. If she wants to know something, she can call him too. That's what he said too. But he don't have time to. He's doing all this safety oh. stuff and crap now. So uh, it's, up to, it's up to you as a commission. So I'd make uh, the motion to stay the way we're doing it with him. Because why take his bunch of time out for a written report? I mean, if we need something, we can call him. Exactly. That's my opinion. You guys can vote however you want. I'll second it. Okay. Okay, we got a motion and a second. Any public comment? Anybody on? Uh, Elena, uh, Elena's on, I believe. I see it says Dick. Yeah, yeah but it, uh, um, yeah, it's Elena. It's I'm doing the job. So we don't feel Paul should be taking up his time writing up a report. And, I think we need him. Yeah, right yeah. I, mean, I mean, he answers when I call him and I have never had him not. Says yeah. the answer when I call him. It gets back to you. To all those in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Thanks. Motion passes. Uh, other than that, I don't have much on that end of the valley. It's just a little bit of ice here and there. And, uh, or something else. I'll get that other stuff with care of. The photograph thing. I don't have anything. This was 9 uh, Yeah, I think it's 9 5 They took the uh, motion. The case against the Richard Combrack, uh, answering some discovery requests that so they you know, some questions they've had. I sent them discovery questions. And Commissioner uh, uh, Allen's going to take some photos that we'll get to them. Of all of them. Okay. We have some photos already. I'll get them today or tomorrow. I'll get up there and I'll walk that whole thing where it's left and we shut that one road down and I'll take all the pictures. And... So in the civil complaint, we, uh, where they had plugged up the culvert caused the damage, mm -hmm. we had that as well as where they uh, close to that pond where they, they cut on the road. So we added that as damages as well. And they, well they they're saying they don't think that's the county road where it sits. They think it's the county road somewhere else, but... That's, uh, I'm working on this. Yeah, that's a frivolous argument, I think. The other day, Blaine, when I went up there, Cat and I went up there in that one corner where they got that approach in without an approach. And some of that slopped down and Kim kind of cleaned it off. But it's freezing pretty hard there and it's narrowing the road up. And then there was a tree fell over and I see some. So, if you take some pictures of that, too. I did. All right. All right. And then uh, Paul has done an itemized damage list of just regarding that washout from the culvert, but he's going to do a complete one and talk about all that. So, uh, Isn't this exciting, folks? Go we'll, forward, we'll case. i got to figure out. Okay. We don't have a, uh, yeah, he's, he's, yeah. Uh, very old. That's all I have. So they think the road could be someplace else, but the road can't be anyplace else. And they were trying to say, we'll go back to that, that it was in a different spot. Well, whoever it was, and we moved it. I mean, it all falls well, back into his hands. Yeah. Well, he's even saying from the, the starting point of it is not a correct uh, 
Louis Polinsky made those same arguments to Judge Dayton regarding Maxville Road and the name of the just following the, case, the Supreme Court case law that says where it sits now is the, the best evidence of where the road is. And even if it's off from the historical maps, it's not a huge issue. But they're trying to say, you know, a ways, you know, quite a ways away from where it is now. And there's just no, no credible evidence of that. Mm -hmm. We do have, uh, uh, we'll have Paul as an expert witness, Linda Bach is an expert witness, and Barney, the commission approved Barney Allen, a surveyor, who's done a lot of testifying. So, but not potentially, uh, uh, I've talked to Hans as well, he's willing to do, do a bit witness, but thought maybe since he does the county stuff already, they have an independent expert on that. Find a couple of people, he's telling everybody, there's a couple spots that are worried about the road now, and he said, well, uh, he's telling the people the county won't do it, you know, fix the road now, fix everything. He's to do. He just starts in rumors and <clears throat> gets everybody stirred up, and then they start calling. Him. So, you're not going to fix it until you get this case done. And so, we've done everything we're supposed to. So, it's good up there. That brand has got a little bit of ice on it, but that uh, warm water broke loose underneath that old road culvert. We're talking about fixing it this spring. Rob Nyland wanted to shut that gate right at Beartown, and I said, No, I don't. Because if somebody comes up over and they come, yeah. Yeah, by statute, you guys, the commission can temporarily, temporarily close roads like that. But I guess why would you about, want there? there's people living up there and trying to get out on sleds and stuff. Yeah, no. It's, it's fine. You know, somebody broke into his place, and my thought was you put up that gate, or he wanted us to block the road or something like dirt. And that. I said, if you start doing that, you won't have a house left. <laughs> we have uh, the sheriff has more and more gate issues where people are putting up gates when they don't don't have authority of becoming a and people buying property sight unseen. It's just this gate issue is going to be a, a big one. Okay. That's all I had. Well, if there's nothing else, we're off until 9.15. Oh, I just left the room. Coming back. Here they go again. Here's a more moments of silence. See this? It's 10 after 9. Uh, the next meeting is, well, 10 after 9. The next meeting is 9.15, Georgetown Lake, overflow. 15 minutes, why bother? But anyway, how do you like them apples? So we're muted. So I wonder how long it's going to be for them to change everything. It still says Mike. Does it still say Mike? No, oh, maybe they did change it. Maybe they did. I'll have to look at the website. OK. as well uh, what are you saying that this guy's not turning over no no he did Sarah's printed it off right and just sent it in this morning okay we just so, yeah, yeah. Well, we already uh, came on uh, do we have his phone number by the way uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah i do i think i should call him this you know this. Sound like I called him once, left a message about checking the boxes. You want to call him now? Yeah, I would. We're on board. I just to make sure he checks some boxes, do it, and then just kind of give or keep us an update. Or it's for his time sheet. Huh? It's for his time sheet. 
bring in his timesheet. Yeah, if you take for example, um, his, his role may change a bit with the lease, but we don't, yeah, we don't know that for sure. So this is the Zoom meeting. Are we still sitting at 25, Chuck? Mm -hmm. Are we still at 25? Out floor? Yeah. Did you see where I put the other ones? I put them yeah, up there. Where were those last week. Finals? I, find I put them around on top. I don't know. Oh. I look up their stuff. What happens? What was it last week? What happens when you do a report, huh? Is this Brandon? This is. is it Granite County Commissioners? How are you doing? Oh, pretty good. How are you doing? You're doing well, right? Good. Uh, one thing, uh, we're concerned about you turning in your timesheet. So you can get paid. Uh huh. You need to get paid. Do you do that? Or? Um, well, I'm, I normally wait because I don't have that many hours. I wait to get an extra month to do that. No, so, we have to do it month by month through the factor, okay. and now if you would please. Okay, perfect. That, that's fine. And then on some that one report where you're checking stuff, just once in a while, you know, if you see something, just write something on there so we know it isn't just being photocopied all the time. Right. Yep. If you would please. You're doing a good job, don't get me wrong. I just, oh, yeah. You're doing a little, see, they just that time thing, and then now and then call in and check in with us. Just in case, you know, so we know you're okay. We don't need one. See what's okay. going on. Is somebody that doesn't send a is, is this a good number to be able to do that? Yep, from? every Tuesday. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Yep, every Tuesday we're on at uh, usually around 9 15. You can call in then when we're talking about the lake and just give us a heads up, too. Oh, just like okay. Now. Yeah, I, I, I stand up that for you. Now you're doing a good job. I don't get me wrong. I just want to get. It. Just, don't get me wrong. Just hear from you is nice. Great. Okay. Very nice. nice. I think I can understand that. So. All righty. You guys got anything? No. Go ahead. Get that time sheet in so you can get paid. Okay. We'll do it. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thank I will. Bye. We'll see you. All right. Thank you. Guys. All right. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Okay, no, so let's go in. Oh. It's nine twenty. You just never been told. Let's meet the mice, folks. I didn't know it wasn't done. Nine twenty. Let's meet the mice. So, is there any public comment on the way? What do you think? I'm leaving it. Leave it as is. Yeah, I would. Is that a motion? Your motion. I motion we leave it as is. Oh, good. I'll second it. This is how they do work here. Uh, Any public comment on that, on the motion? All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 You're not. Yeah, I just was thinking it just there ain't no more should come for a couple of weeks, so I guess we'll play it like as long as it's just kinda of holding steady right yeah, along. Maybe we can get something from Dave Allman or Yeah, I was gonna call him uh anybody I don't have his number. I was gonna call him at home. Yeah, maybe we can get something from Dave Allman the report to see what the Peterson Meadows and some of them how they're set. So. Right. Coming into the spring, I want to keep up with that. We'll definitely probably have to have at least once a month be giving us reports or something. Exactly. Exactly. That's my 
Okay, we're off till 930 then. Oh, why is it silence? Because you heard it. They go and mute the mics. So I'm writing in my little sarcastic remarks. What we do? Okay. Uh, just to get back into this thing, we're going to okay, it's 9.30 actually 9.29 so we'll be back 9.29 9.30 Town of Phillipsburg Sludge Disposal Project Grant Application Letter of Support, Discussion, and Decision. Town of Phillipsburg, Fred Burr Municipal Watershed Road Rehab. All right. We're going to yada, yada. start with the uh, Town of Phillipsburg Sledge Disposal Project Grant Application. And we have two letters to sign. I read the letters and I will sign them. Oh, just like that. Nobody there from the town. So Start to read them right now. Yeah, did a motion before, but I agree to do another one here. Um, I just agree to the motion on your thing. Yeah. One for each. Yeah. 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 Where are they going to take it? Remains to be seen. Theoretically, it We'll go to Missoula. Um, right now, I'm working and trying to work a deal with the DEQ to perhaps get it into Black Pine. Oh. Um, they're doing some uh, final remediation work there, uh, again, on theoretically this summer. Do you need a letter of support to support it to take it to Black Pine? Um, you know, we're going to we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Right now, it's just generally getting the grant money to put it together to do the process. We're at Black Pine. Um, well, there was one portion of it. I think on the other side that there were some buildings still they left standing. They were mm -hmm. worried about when they were doing the remediation about it was crumbling. So they left a small pocket and mm -hmm. they're going to get in there this summer and finalize it and then close it for a lot of cash. Um, I've had one meeting with the DEQ, um, uh, a possibility of doing that. And the meeting was real positive. It was about six weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they've got to get with the Montana Environmental Trust and get all that together. And I think in the next, probably the next six to eight weeks, we'll put something together, a memorandum of understanding.